Three artists, each with completely different skills, are about to face off in the ultimate art battle. To make it interesting, they'll be given the same inspiration, which they can interpret however they want. We'll follow our artists as they dream up their ideas. Swirly and special, like when you are a kid and you're in the bath. Dive into the details of their process. The tracking markers have worked really well. And come together to reveal their final art But every artist needs a deadline, so I'm giving them just five hours. Shall we get started? Artists. Are you ready for your inspiration? Mm-hmm. No! Oh dear, remove your blindfolds! Ooh! Oh, it's a rubber duck. It's a rubber duck, right? Oh my gosh, I love ducks! <laughs> I'm gonna make a bold statement. I'm gonna finish on time today. <laughs> your time has started! Your five hours begins now! <laughs> now that they're underway, let's get to know our three artists. This is Julia. Hello. This is Liam. Hello. And this is John. Need any ducks, Julia? I don't think so. Yes, please. Thank you. Sorry, changed my mind. Hey. Okay, so I've been working on the concept. My earliest memory of a rubber duck was when I was at grandma's house. I want to recreate that feeling when you're a kid and you're in the bath. That rubber duck is about to go on the biggest journey of its life. The ducks are going to exist in this swirl of orange and blue. They're also going to be swirly. I think when you're trying to bring imagination to life, you want it to feel like it's got something extra to it. I love shooting people's portraits, but when I have to shoot my own portrait, it's a little bit like pulling my teeth. Before I forget, because I always forget, I'm going to have to get into my painting clothes. I'm a hop to it. Get cracking. So I saw this duck. Ooh. And then I looked down at my favorite person in the whole entire world. This is Will. He is my dog. He is beautiful, but he's not feeling very well. So let's cheer him up and we'll make a video about his favorite toy, which is this duck. We'll make it a rubber duck though. The duck is floating serenely and then something more sinister is happening. Digital illustration is my thing, but what I'm really enjoying lately is animating. And I saw online this plugin I really want to try, which allows me to take 2D illustration and make it feel 3D. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. Wish me luck, Will. My idea today is 100 3D rubber ducks that are going to inflate inside a retro computer monitor. So if my hand will come in, it's going to hit Command D, and then 100 duckies will spawn inside the monitor. It is very ambitious, but because I was so stressed last time, I'm seriously not going to make this, I took the unique step of writing a schedule. I will spare you the details, but the most important thing you need to know is that it goes for nine hours. The responsible thing to do would be to slim this down, but instead, I think I might just cram nine hours of ambition into five hours. I might rebrand my schedule to to-do list. Just alleviate me from the stress of the nine hours of ambition. Let's run to the paint store and get some paint so I can paint the CRT monitor. 30 minutes in and our artists have their rubber ducky ideas. Let's hope they stick the landing. Welcome to the life of a photographer, folks. I got some help. Up the stairs we go. We might go up backwards. Okay. Hello. Now I've got to see what paints I've got. That's gonna determine if I use the blue or the orange. Pulling out every single paint. I'm gonna start with the background, not the ducks, because the background's gonna take longer to dry. So I've got a lot of orange, but I do also have a little bit of blue. But it's not necessarily the blue that I'd want, but I could make the blue with some white. The orange is gonna turn brown, but maybe that's okay. I have found my orange. I have an orange and I brought it and it's beautiful. I drew a lot as a kid, but I didn't really draw again until lockdown. So I did a thing where I drew every day for a year. I found the love again. So I have finished the illustrations. Here we go. Here we are. Time to take those into After Effects and start rigging. Back from the shops, spray paint. I need an art smock. Can I wear this? Hayley, does anyone need this? This is part of my art process. Like, I, I need this. That's a like, honestly, I have no idea where this came from. That? Ugh. I really didn't need this on just yet. Where will I? Guess I go. Painting big things came from working in the music industry and not having any budgets to get a set designer to come in. And I was like, I want a set. I also think that you build up confidence with your skills and you go along. I think sometimes people think you have to really do something properly before you do it. If it looks good, then it's probably all right. Liam, I've got a few options. Sparkling water, ice soy latte, matcha latte, orange juice, tonic water, anything work for you. Thanks, guy. My pleasure. You're one hour in, four hours to go. 
How are you feeling? I've done the thing I thought was going to take the longest. How are you typically with managing time? I mean, you know the answer to that. I'm very good under time pressure. It's taking me twice as long to do this as I had scheduled. Um, what I think is going to happen is it's going to compound until the very end and I'm going to have a fucking meltdown. <laughs> so, um, cheers. cheers. So about 40 minutes later and we have a set. Now, I don't know what to do next. I don't know what to do next. I'm gonna paint the ducks, but I don't know how they're gonna look in the set. William, anything for you? So for the animation in After Effects, I decided to use a plugin called Joysticks and Sliders. What that allows me to do is take 2D images that I created in Illustrator and then using parallax and movement to create this false sense of 3D. You need to make five solid states. So you've got frame one is the duck looking straight on. Frame two is then looking to the right. So you're going to move everything, change the paths, change the rotation, change the, the position. Frame three is to the left. Frame four, you're looking up and then looking down. From there, once you hit create joystick, you have this fully controllable 3D object made with 2D images. Painting's done, it's drying outside. That took much longer than expected. I think I might have to go and revise my to-do list. I can't even get my microphone clip to stay on. It's really just an absolute schmozzle. Hey, I, did, I painted something. Oh, well done. You're proud of me? I thought so. I'm in a lot of trouble. I need to rethink everything. So I'm going to have to simplify things, otherwise I am going to be screwed. The most obvious thing to drop is the narrative. So if I just focus on having like a nice long dolly shot, I don't have to edit anything so that can go in the bin. It's also going to make my shoot a lot quicker. Set design as well. I need to think about how I can bring a bit of visual value to my desk scene without it taking up an hour. I saw some yellow props downstairs, like a plinth and some flats. Look at these! Which could look pretty sick. I don't actually know if it's allowed, but I'm just gonna start taking this. <laughs> hey, Haley, I just found these plinths just laying around. Oh, that's convenient. Isn't it? Look at these plinths I just made. <sighs> I feel like I'm getting in trouble. This doesn't really... We have set up the lights you can kind of see the setup here the paint's a little bit wet so maybe i should shoot the ducks first before i put a seat on top of that and then i'll comp the ducks into the photo i'll extend the background and then i'll add myself in something i really want to add is depth so i'm going to do that by adding gradients and build more of a textural scene hey oh you can't see these I made these from scratch. Hi, my name is Julia. I um, am here today to expose a truth <laughs> that is currently going on behind me, is that John has sought to cheat in today's episode. And Cheating? I would like to have you know that that is... Not in his character. Can I please have an official, the official word? The official word is you can't use this yellow stuff. So let's get a table. Thank you. My pleasure, friend. I didn't even want this. Try to save some time. Uh, I may have cheated. Looks like I'm sitting on the beginning and end of my set. Do not have enough time to do anything. So I'm just gonna have to accept that now my scene is an empty desk, but that's a vibe. A pivot to like more of a minimalist aesthetic is just what this artwork needed. I'm gonna go and grab that blue monitor, get it up here, film it as quickly as possible and jump into 3D. With three hours to go, Julia has finished painting her swirly backdrop and is about to photograph her waddling of ducks. Liam's completed his designs and rigged his characters. Now it's time to start animating. And John is filming his live action set before he dedicates his afternoon to duplicating ducks in the third dimension. But I can't have them working on an empty stomach. So, it's time for lunch. All right, how are we going folks? Um, Who's winning? Who's winning the day? You winning the day? You've got a confidence about you. Can you tell us exactly what you're doing and how far along you are? Jen. I'm about halfway. Whoa! Oh no! Artist. Oh my gosh, you're slipping! I'm, I'm going to have a bath. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you okay to manage your own time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course I'm not. I have a question. Yeah, no. Yes. What's in the bucket? These are my 30 rubber duckies. <laughs> got water Please don't touch those. <laughs> oh, no. Is it warm? <laughs> Hold my microphone for a moment. Of course. Your time has resumed. God. I haven't even finished my... I've got a whole no. god meat left! We talked a lot. We talked too much. I'm just gonna eat at my desk. I think the ducks and the background are gonna work. Which means now I'm gonna have to put myself in there. Like, I don't know if you can see this. I think if my pose is that with a little rubber ducky, 
It'll give the sense that we're on a cute little journey. At first I thought I wanted to put a heap of detail, like adding a lot of shadows and a lot of gradients. But I've realized by stripping it back, keeping that fake 3D parallaxing effect, but keeping it flat images is actually gonna work a lot better and drastically reduce the rendering times. All right, break over wheel. Okay, so camera tracking worked. It, it all kind of came together a lot quicker than I was expecting, which I am super grateful for because I need to start to claw back any time that I possibly can. We've got the couch there and that's gonna be the rubber duck, which I think is actually gonna work really well, but I've just gotta make sure that the lighting on me is the same as what was on the ducks, but at the same height differences as well. So I'm probably gonna lift the lights up a little too high. We're doing a self timer moment here, folks. Range of expression. So the animation is going well. I've seemed to have accidentally made this into a short film. It's already like 10 seconds long. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Is he even gonna make it? Okay, so 3D design. Um, I've built a box and I've put some ducks in. Uh, pretty minimally designed, but that's the theme of um, the artwork now. So look at this though, it's quite satisfying. Look at that. I'm gonna take them out of grid mode um, and get those ducks to inflate and start clanging about. I think the shoot's done and I think we've got the photo. It's a smileier vibe than I was expecting. The ducks and I are on a little journey, you know? So I think now's the time to get editing. We're all about speed here today, folks. John, I need your help. Oh my God. Meet me at the couch. Oh Meet okay. me at the couch. Yes, okay. Liam, I've got a problem. I need you with the couch. Let's okay. go. Okay, okay. Julia, Hatch, I've got a problem. Come with me. I've lost my 30 rubber duckies. You need to help me find them and you've got three minutes to do so. They're located in this central section of the studio between the wall and the beam. You have three minutes on the clock and every duck you find represents 30 seconds added to your deadline. That's a total of 15 minutes. All of our deadlines. You are working as a team. So let's find 30 ducks. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. quack, quack. Your time has started. Go, 30 ducks. That one. Okay. Oh, that other one. I'm not totally Put them in Back to the bucket with the ducks. Back to the bucket with the ducks. There are a few ducks that you may need to help each other out with because they are a little high. Oh my God. Check, check the foliage, check the foliage. Guys, I've hit the Julia, duck Julia, you do not go past the beam. None of the ducks are located over there. John. One, two, three, Hang four, on, five, 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 Forty-five seconds remaining. Uh, Just keep going. Don't give up. Never don't give up. Never don't give up. Ten seconds left. Oh no. And time. Please return to the couch. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Oh, where's the other one? Where's the final duck? Return to your desks. You have yes. fourteen and a half minutes bonus oh, time. That was great. An incredible inconvenience and an incredible effort. Two hours, fourteen minutes and 30 seconds remaining. I thought that was going to be uh, quite the distraction, but uh, I'm very grateful for the 15 minutes because uh, my duck simulation currently looks like this. Not really what I was going for. I definitely want to add in some smaller lines over the painted lines, which I've already done, just to make it feel full and balanced. Like it got all the way through, and then it just decided that it was going to absolutely Implode on itself. To make the animation a bit more dynamic, instead of being a static frame of a duck floating in the bath, we'll start close up on the duck and then zoom out wider when Will pops his head up and then back in close again when he pops back down. Nothing is working for me today. Ah! With an hour to go, Julia's in the thick of post production, covering every inch of her photo with her signature swirls. Liam's perfecting his camera move before moving on to sound designing his 10 second animation. It's 14 now. It's 14 now. And John's duck duplication, it's a dire situation. I'm in a little bit of a mini crisis. My simulations won't work. I've tried simplifying the particle system. I've tried getting rid of the inflation just to make it more simple. Nothing's working. Things are, poof, things are a little bit stressful over here. Artists, you have 30 minutes remaining. But I'm not gonna make this. 30 minutes? Probably gonna do a workout or something. Okay team, the duck dream is dead. I've had to cull 99 ducks. I'm just sticking with one. I'm tweaking turbulence and wind and just doing little changes to try and get this one duck to stop being so chaotic. The second it behaves itself, I'm hitting render, that's gonna be my artwork. I'm flying. <laughs> I got all the time in the world. I think it all came together really well, especially these new techniques. And I was able to pull off something I'm pretty happy with in five hours. 
Gonna spend my last five minutes to zhuzh it. And it's not gonna be perfect, there'll be little things that I'll never wanna look at again. Three minutes to go! Oh, I'm just comping like crazy, throwing things into my comp. I have no idea what my artwork is even gonna look like. Oh, we did it. See you at the finish line. I've got a great idea. I'm gonna do my sound design in real time out of my mouth. It's okay guys, I'm just rotoscoping, rendering my 3D in the background. I'll render my After Effects out. Everything's gonna be fine. 90 seconds long... to go, Johnny! <laughs> Why is it always like this? I do everything in my absolute power to avoid that feeling. Julia, come hither! Can I put my shoes on? Leave me at the oh. desk! Big guy, you need to help. Liam, let's go. 30 seconds! Here's my special moment. What are you doing? John! Come on, John! Come on, John! Come on, John! Run! Run! Four! Three! Two! Sometimes all you can do is put a strange wobbly duck inside a CRT monitor that you painted. Sometimes that's the best that you can achieve in five hours. And you know what? I think it was pretty good in many ways. It's time to reveal our artworks and we're going to start with the wonderful Julia. Hello. Proud Hello. of you. Proud of you. I don't know what you did, but proud of you still. <laughs> this is my artwork, the Swirly Duck Bath Parade. Oh. oh, holy sh! How did you get so small? Whoa, whoa! That's, that's so good. God, you are talented. That's incredible. Can I get close to it? Let's see the bits. <laughs> look how small you are. You're you're joyous. With more time, I definitely make it look a little bit cleaner. I like the swirls. I like my vest. Let's move to our second artist. Over to you, Liam. I was inspired by my dog Will and his favorite toy. I called this. Duck! Duck. Goose! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is a whole narrative. Oh. Oh, oh no, he, he's... Did death happen? Did you do this all today? Yes. <laughs> yeah, how did you do this in five hours? How? Yeah, mate, it's really, like, impressive. And he's got so much little personality. Will would be so proud of this. And it's time for our final artist. Let's hear from John. Hey, hey there. <laughs> I faced rubber duck adversity today. I almost didn't finish, it was confronting, but I did deliver something. This one is called, well, at least we had a, a fun day and isn't that the most important thing? Oh, sorry, and real-time sound effects. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Woo. <laughs> be dong, be dong, be. <laughs> <laughs> Quack. Quack. What do you mean this isn't? Ooh. This is amazing. So you even got a little, little. It's got little a thing at the bottom. A little, a hole. Little. The under nipple. It got very under nipple by accident. It was just the way the physics wanted it. Really cool. Also, I love like the graininess. It, it's phenomenal. You guys um, gave me a little cheer squad as I did most of the artwork. I'd say I probably did like 30% of my entire artwork in the last three minutes. It was, it was, <laughs> it was full on. Hey guys. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for being my art friends. And um, thanks for saying kind words about my art that almost failed. Absolute legends. Until next time, like and subscribe. <laughs>